What's up YouTube Underworld 6667 here you guys requested it in the comment section down below of the last video So let's get us started with real talk on vending long ago. There existed a god Then evil came A lot of you guys know, if you have not been subscribed to Underworld 6667 for very long, that I am a Yu-Gi-Oh vendor. I am a person that goes to different events and vends Yu-Gi-Oh. Mainly at the Yu-Gi-Oh Open Cash Championships. If you guys don't know what that is, make sure you Google it, because it is an event where you can win cash just like the ARG Championships. I am a Yu-Gi-Oh vendor. Now, most of the time, I am either vending at Yu-Gi-Oh! Open Cash Championships, or you have seen me at Anime North or various conventions dealing cards. Now... One thing that I have a serious problem with is, of course, the people who come to my booth who are annoying, who aren't there to buy cards, they're just there to give me a hard time. Now, I'm going to be talking to you guys in a very real way about the different challenges that Yu-Gi-Oh! vendors have to go through and why it's stupid for you guys to put us through these things. First things first, of course, we've got the guy who thinks he knows everything about Yu-Gi-Oh. He has a job at McDonald's flipping burgers. He just got his paycheck. It's a good 500 bucks, and he wants to spend the cash right then and there. Now, one thing that you have to understand is the vendor is there to make money. That is the way he makes profit in this game. Now, I understand that you want a discount. You want the most out of your hard work and your paycheck. However, there is a certain point where we also have to make money. That's how we're able to be vendors. That's how we pay for the vending spot. That's how we are making the money. Now you coming up and saying that you want 50% off doesn't really work within our budget. So yes, you are spending a decent amount and I'm sure the person will give you a good deal. However, if a card is already low priced because the vendor was able to pick it up at a low price, please understand that we cannot give full discounts every single time. The next thing that I have, and it's one of my big pet peeves, is the people who like to use the internet incorrectly. Now there are a number of sites that you like to use and that vendors like to use in order to price their cards. One of the things that I do is of course eBay, buy it now, lowest price plus shipping. Now one thing that you have to understand is the completed listings are not really the greatest way to understand what the true value of the card is. The reason why is because Yu-Gi-Oh! is such a vastly changing game and a vastly changing market, you cannot go by completed listings because about a week ago, about a week ago, a week ago, fuck with us and then we tweak it all. It is illogical to actually represent the current price of that card. About a week ago, that card was $5. Now, it's about $30. Things change in Yu-Gi-Oh! And you have to understand that not every single time will a vendor not be up to date on cards. That is not the point of vending. The whole point of vending is for you to understand that we're going to be really, really smart and we're going to understand that cards change pricing and we're going to check the cards before we actually price them and put them in the showcase. If if, if you are one of the lucky people who actually get a vendor who has yet to check a price and you are able to maximize your profit, by all means, please buy those cards. Please, maximum buy those cards. If you want to buy 20 copies from me, that's perfectly fine. I'm glad you're able to make the money. I price the cards, so I am able to make the money as well. I'm very happy for you. Go out and be fruitful. The next thing, and it really has to do with just that, the internet dealing, is the lowest price plus shipping. Plus shipping? Oh wait, Underworld, you're not shipping anything. Then you're in my view. You're right in front of me. That means you shouldn't be charging me shipping because it didn't cost you anything to ship it. Let's face it, buddy. The reason that you're going online is because it's a worldwide market. That is a market that is very different from a face-to-face -face transaction. Now, when it comes to buying things from a face-to-face -face transaction, you also have to realize, I had to pay gas. I'm also using my time. I also had to pay for the booth, which means if you would like, I can upcharge the actual card to that price by saying, oh, it's a booth charge, but I'm pretty sure that that's not gonna work for you either. So please understand, if it's $4 plus $4 shipping online, and that's the lowest price plus shipping, that is the price, $8 total, right there. In fact, you should probably actually expect to pay a little bit more because it is a face-to-face -face transaction and there's a lot more effort and time that's actually invested into that actual deal. You've got time, gas, money, everything all put into one. So don't give these people a hard time. 
Please do not waste the time. Waste all the people's time behind you that is waiting for the cards. Do not look in the showcase continuously for good deals or good condition cards. There are people who are actually looking for cards right then and there that would like to get it for the actual tournament. So wasting the time looking through dollar bins and all that kind of stuff can be done nearer to the middle of the event or at the start of the event once everyone else has the cards that they're looking for. If you're looking for a random card, please don't expect the vendor to pop it out of nowhere and understand exactly where everything is. I'm kind of anal when it comes to my organization of cards, so it's a little bit easier for me to find something. But if you're looking for something from a regular vendor, a standard vendor, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to actually get out the actual card, if they have it. So please, understand and wait your turn. Once again, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this Real Talk video. Hopefully you have a little bit more respect for the vendors. Hopefully the vendors out there have learned a little bit more about what to watch for and what to actually suggest and what to actually say when it comes to people buying their cards. As always, if you would like more videos, all you need to do is go down to the comment section down below and suggest different video titles, different video topics, video suggestions, all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about the haters. The haters will exist. I love their faces because they give me views and they're one of my loyal fans because let's face it they're on every single one of my videos hating so how are you doing haters I love you I love you guys even more the ones that don't hate and the ones that actually contribute down in the comment section down below if you are one of those underworld 6667 fans and you would like to follow me on any of my social platforms Instagram Twitter snapchat etc all in the description down below thank you guys very much for watching and as always this is the most important part of the video don't make those binder blunders